Hi guys. Uh, so yeah, I'm coming on today to take these off and I got asked by somebody on Facebook whether these could be taken off with the soak off meth method with 100% acetone. So I'm going to try and soak them off. I did try a while ago and I can't remember if they come off brilliant or not. So I'm going to try today. The reason they're coming off early, which I didn't really want them off, is because I've got to have surgery, which is a total surprise to me. But by the time you see this, it will all be over. So, because it's polygel or acrogel, it's really easy to let me bring in a little bit to clip off because it's a softer product. But I've been told before now not to cut them the way I am. But if you angle the clippers down, then there's no way you will go into your natural nail. My god, this is soft. So with this nail, I'm just going to try and get the acrylic off. That'll file down anyway when I file the rest off. Okay, so now I have got them down to pretty much my natural nail because they're not very long anyway. So now I'm just going to get my uh, electric drill with a crystal limb drill bit and file as about 80% of this acrylic uh, acrogel off. Okay, so now I'm going to get some of this kitchen foil. It is literally a pound from Tesco. I'm just going to get a little sheet out. Then I'm just going to straighten it up. Then this is what I do. I fold it in half and then cut down this line. So next I just cut this into five. So this is like the thinnest because this is a bit thicker. So the, this part here, oh my God, this part here will be for my little finger. Next I've got some cotton pads. I've got five. And what I'm going to do is just cut them in half. Turn one onto the other. Cut the ends off and then you've got two pads for your fingers. So then all I do, this is just for ease, you don't have to do this. So these are both for my thumbs, so I will search out the two biggest ones for my thumbs and just stick them on there and just go through all of them and then just line them up. So it's just for ease really. Now it doesn't matter which way up you put the silver foil, I will prove that by, by doing half of this hand with the silver foil that way and half that way. What I saw on a program was they only do it this way so they can tell which way up the foil goes. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's just what I saw on how it's made, something like that. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. Next thing, this is the um, pure acetone I use, it's 100% acetone. So I'll do my little finger first, so you just get the acetone, it's it is literally the same as doing it for acrylics. Place that on. And then I'm going to do this one that way. 
and then I'd do it halfway, bend it over, and then wrap the rest around. And then that is nicely secured then for the poly gel to come off. Sorry, acrylic gel to come off. So I'm going to do that to all of my fingers. The thumb is so hard to do on your own, we get there. Because of my skin here, my god, it's really sore. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to keep these on for 20 minutes now and then I will come back and show you how the poly gel is going on. Okay, that's 20 minutes. I've had to get that up because this was too sore. <laughs> so yeah. Right, okay, so next I'm going to get the uh, cuticle pusher because you will need that and a paper towel. So I'm going to start with the finger that I started with and then I'm just going to... Oh, don't even have to push it. There's nothing there guys, nothing there. Usually with acrylic you'd have to get the cuticle pusher and just, oh there's a little bit, and just push up and get rid of everything else but oh my god that is completely gone. That is completely gone. So you just give it a wiggle. There is maybe a little bit left on there. Literally not a lot though. That is so impressive. Okay, so this is the one with the shiny on the outside. Not a lot left on there. See, it doesn't make any difference which side the silver foil goes. I just wanted to uh, prove to the cynics <laughs> that it doesn't matter. Let's do this one. I'm not quite sure how this one's gone because I had to undo it a little bit. But yeah, that's not bad. Just a little layer left on there. And now my thumb. The orange that is on my thumb is from oranges that I eat. <laughs> so there was a little bit left on my thumb, which I will probably get the file for. Because I did have a little bit of acrylic left on there as well. So, yeah. So that has totally got rid of all the acrogel. Yeah, I'm chuffed with that. So I'm just going to do this hand and then I'll be back to tidy up my fingers and show you what I've been using on my hands. Okay, they're all done. And not all I've done extra is just go around the cuticle area with a, a really small cuticle bit. Get all the stuff from around the cuticles. So because I'm going to hospital and I won't be able to have any nails on for a while, I am going to just cut these right down. Okay, so now all that's done, I'm not going to put any varnish or anything on them. One thing I have been using is this Volcanic Aloe. Um, I got this last time I went to Spain. Oh my god guys, it has been a godsend. As you can see, I've used most of it. And all I do is get a really big blob. And I just put it on my hands like this. Make sure I get into everywhere all over my nails and everything and while it's still wet I leave it in to soak into my skin and it's really been doing my skin well this here I'm really not sure what's going on with that that's flared up all of a sudden as well as this spot there and that spot there uh, but apart from that my skin's definitely been a lot better using that so yeah I hope I answered your question of whether you can soak off uh, acrogel or polygel the answer definitely is yes but you must leave it the 20 minutes on this hand I did it 15 minutes and I definitely had to file a lot more off than leaving it the 20 minutes on this hand so that's really important that you still leave the soak off process for 20 minutes all right guys thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time bye <laughs>